man, it just seems like every news that comes that's related to Disney is just not good for them. You know, they've been, in terms of financial means, uh, they've been losing lots and lots and lots of money. And I know I've said that in the past, but these are just another example to add to that. They're actually having to um, resort to very desperate means to make some kind of profit. They were once the kings of entertainment. Now they're actually having to think about selling some of their IPs just to make a profit. Yeah, that's how bad it's gotten. It says here on the uh, article on uh, Walt Disney World uh, News today, Breaking, C uh, Disney CEO Bob Iger considering selling streaming services to other assets may even try to sell the entire Disney company. Wow. The, entire, uh, the Walt Disney Company CEO Bob Iger is looking to sell some of the company's TV and streaming assets and may even be considering selling the entire company. Yeah, they went from being the kings of entertainment to now they're having to sell basically everything just to make some money. You know, it, it turned from, one way I heard it put it, is basically the kings of entertainment to now have them do a, a, a IP yard sale hilarious just to make a quick buck because they've been losing that much money says uh in the uh oops, got the article pulled up it says bloomberg reported on the potential uh sales referencing Iger's now famous squawk box interview the interview conducted by uh, david faber which held uh which was held at a media conference at sun valley idaho Iger's comments about the writers and actors strike has gone viral during the interview he also agreed with faber and abc and his local stations may not be at the core of the Walt Disney Company. Faber speculated that the possible sale of, uh, the, and Iger said, uh, we have to be open-minded and objective about the future of those businesses. Bloomberg says with the cable TV on decline, Iger wants to sell most of Disney's TV assets, mainly ABC, Freeform, and FX. Yeah, but you know, cable TV is in decline. So even, even if they do make a profit, it won't be a whole lot. Continuing on, streaming services have been losing money and Disney streaming services have been losing money in subscribers. Yeah, no kidding. Disney Plus lost 4 million subscribers last quarter. Streaming is expected to ha hit a total loss of, get this, $800 million in the third quarter. Wow. According to Bloomberg, Iger wants to completely sell out or restructure Disney's TV and streaming businesses in India. That would uh, That's actually where Disney had the, had the, had the biggest losses. Uh, Disney Plus Hotstar, the Hotstar, the region, region's version of Disney Plus, lost streaming rights to the Indian Premier League cricket matches leading to the service losing 3.8 million subscribers in the quarter and one uh, store quarter one and 4.6 million subscribers in quarter two. Iger does plan to hold on to Hulu and Disney uh, will launch combined uh, a combined app for Hulu and Disney Plus later this year. The streaming services still have their own separate apps, at least for now. Disney uh, will more than likely have to buy Comcast 33% stake in Hulu in 2024. Uh, Wells says Wells Fargo and uh, Steve Cahal are, says selling, sorry, Wells Fargo analyst, analyst says selling Disney TV networks could get them around $8 billion, which would help offset the cost on the last third. Potential buyers would be financial entities like private equity firms. Iger wants to hang on to ESPN, but is looking for a partner for the sports network. Potential partners include sports companies and Apple. Continuing on, speaking of Apple, there are rumors since Iger's return last November that he will sell all of Disney to the tech company. At the time, Iger called these rumors nothing more than speculation, but the sale seems to still be a possibility. And it seems to be more and more of a possibility as their financial struggles just pile up and pile up. I mean, every news that comes out relating to their finances has not been good. It, it, it's pretty much this thing flopped at the box office. They're losing this many subscribers. They're having this problem, you know, in the theme parks and everything else. I mean, nothing good is coming out of it. They're having ever declining attendance records. Like their last three films, three films flopped, like three three flops in a row. I mean, it's just everything bad. Nothing good financially. So that may, it could in the future, as if this continues to go on, it could become a, a very real possibility in the future. You never know. But this is just what happens. See, none of this would have happened. Like, they'll say, oh, you know, this or that. They'll blame the pandemic still. But really, when it comes down to it, the big issue is going political. See, coming out and inserting... I mean, they've always done it very subtly. Let's just face the reality. A lot of the 1990s films uh, had a lot of that stuff in it, but it was very subtle. Now they're just openly inserting this stuff in there. And, and families are walking away from Disney. Families are saying, we're not going to um, uh, take our kids to have woke SJW ideology inserted into their young minds. And good for them. So really, the main crux of this is just simply if they had just done what Chapek would, I mean, they were having problems before that, but 2022, 2022 is when it really just went full speed ahead. And that was when they apparently went to the, uh, got to a point where the employees tell the CEO what to do and they, you know, went full on in on this thing. Not 
subtly like before, but now just openly inserting it in there. And now Disney has been paying the price in a very real sense, not just a figurative speech, but they are, they're literally paying the price out of their wallets. So anyway, wanted to show you guys that. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ with all the brethren. Goodbye.